All right, so this is just a, a, quick, um, a quick lesson on uh, two, different th two different domains that you find in an Ethernet environment. And the two different domains are uh, the broadcast domain and the collision domain. Now, when you hear the word domain, that just means area in this regard. It doesn't mean like a Windows server uh, domain environment. I'm using the term completely different from that. All right. So with a hub, and it doesn't matter if it's 10 base T or 100 base T, or there are even some thousand base T hubs, I believe. But with a hub, you have to consider the size of your uh, broadcast domain and the size of your collision domains. And you, of course, you have to do that for any kind of network because as an administrator, as an IT professional, Controlling the sizes of those domains is everything because when you control the size of the domain, you control the performance of the network. All right? So it's really simple for a hub. Let me draw it on the board. I told you it was rather simple. The entire network, when you have a hub, is one big broadcast domain. And the entire network with hubs is one big collision domain. So a broadcast domain is if any node sends a broadcast frame that's intended from one to everybody, the everybody is everyone inside that broadcast domain. In my simple star network here, I have four nodes, but very well could be uh, 40 or even 100, all right? And same thing for collision, except a collision domain is any place that nodes are contending for access to the network. So in, with a hub environment, that area is where collisions can occur. One of those workstations can send a frame at the same time that another workstation can attempt to send a frame. And if they both try to at the same time, then there will be a collision. All right, so let's see how things change when I replace my hub with a switch. Okay, so with a switch, we still have one big broadcast domain. So we really don't affect 50% of our traffic. However, collision domains become very different. Here's what they look like. So each node is connected to a port, and the only thing that the workstation is competing with to use the, the network is the switch port. So if one of those workstations wants to send a packet on the network, wants to send a frame on the network, it only has to make sure that the switch is not sending something to it. But it doesn't uh, contend for network access with any other node. It only contends with the uh, switch port itself. So, so in this regard, all the nodes have a lot more access to the network. And of course, switches use different methods to receive the information and then switch them to where they have to go. And that'll be a topic of another video on another day. All right, so I hope that this helps you to understand the difference between the broadcast and the collision domains when comparing a hub to a switch.